to speak upon whatever you need to speak. You know, you're scared of finding out the decision of somebody else. You can control your own thoughts, your own mind, but you can't control anybody else's. She's like... <laughs> All right, let's go, season. Okay, so... So you're gonna, you're gonna pull out a tarot deck. Your tarot deck, and you're going to um, shuffle like you normally shuffle, <laughs> and then you're going to lay them on. Um, it's up to you. Um, uh, normally, I do like three, and then the other one, or you could do just six cards, or challenges and struggles but at the same time I fought and I overcame and I I still am trying to overcome it but at the same time it's kind of hard like there's still my drawbacks from it and once I Like literally, my son almost stepped on it yesterday. It's like huge, huge frog. And I'm like, look, I'm not trying to get pregnant right now. I need you to go about your business, Mr. Fertility. Um, so frogs, they represent prosperity, fertility. So just know that things are gonna be prosperous. Oh, I just don't like frogs. Um, I keep, you know, like, you know, freaking out. Fertility, getting pregnant, and you remember what we talked about last time? Yeah. You know, that's something in your future. It's a song. Especially for them to like throw out the word frog and then, you know. I was like, I know I ain't tripping if it's all frog. <laughs> Hey, I 
love I love alligator and snake though. Don't get me wrong. That's good. Um, well, normally whenever they have those, uh, what is it called? Well, my daddy used to cook it, but he's passed. No, it's okay. They hold on, so they're fun. Oh yeah, all the time. He likes to throw dishes. Not in my house, my sisters. I love, uh, I love my my spirit guides. You know, from my uncle Marshall to my my grandmother and my great grandmother. It's their blessings. Yeah. Um, lots of times we don't know who our spirit guides are unless we invoke them or talk to them. Um, they'll come to you in your dreams. They'll warn you about certain things. You know, like last night I was laying in bed and I fell asleep and I had a dream where one of my buddies was standing over my casket and crying and it brought me back to life. So you can interpret your dreams the same way, the same way that you interpret your tarot cards. So if you get yourself a deck and you need to know a question, like, hey, who's my spirit guide? Is it? You can ask them. Yeah, like, it'll, it'll pull up a card and tell you. you. Yeah. We can ask them. We can ask exactly what questions so, you want. You know, which direction I go. Just ask that specific question. Hey, what is this one? Um, so that's my yes or no deck. You can say it in your head, you know, you can say it out loud. That's the thing is that you've seen them before, you've talked to them. It could be a person walking down the street and they got brown eyes. That reminds me of, um, you know, the Archangel Michael, you know? Oh, no. Yeah. One time I was fishing. I'm not I said I'm yes. Sore, but I was so fishing before, and the I question that you asked, it was a yes. yes. <laughs> while I was fishing, and my dad was on the other side of the oh, dock, and his old man was just standing there. Like, so he had to be at least eighty or ninety. Oh, oh, no, this is this is a real life. Oh yeah, I had. He was just staring at me, and I turned around and I looked at him and made eye contact, but it didn't scare me. He didn't stop staring at me once I stared at him. I turned back around to make sure my dad was right there in the area because I seen the old man looking at me and make sure my dad was, you know, by me. I looked back and he wasn't there and I went to the street and I looked both ways like he was, he was not there. Yeah, and I felt like that was a, an angel watching me because I was right over the dock of the water and my dad was not near me and I couldn't fell into the water or anything like that. I've, I've had that happen to me where I was in New Mexico and this man was standing in the middle of nowhere. Um, I looked at him and I was like, all right, what the fuck are you? He's just standing in my sister's yard. Yeah. My, my nephew called me. And I looked back, and whenever I went to go step, I almost stepped on a scorpion. Yeah. And so whoever that was was just like, just Watch there. You, yeah. um, I've had him show up four times in my life. Um, I've been sober since um, February 23rd, 2009, from hardcore drugs. Um, you know? I saw two people in the room, it was, um, you know, it was black and white. Like, they were just standing there talking to me, and I was like, all right, and I left the room because I went to go seek help. Um, in other words, I walked outside, had to call an ambulance because, you know, I was about to yeah. be gone. Yeah, another story, I was in my house, and I put some pizza rolls in the oven, and I went in my room, and I fell asleep, and the alarm was just going off. Other which is not on my phone. And my door is like swung open. I had a little person hanging on my door because I could see the door. And my door just swung open, like simply open. Nobody was in the house with me. And I felt like that was my angel telling me, hey, the other door it was telling me, hey, the other was going off the door. But I was on the phone. There was my And that's the thing is that our angels are there to warn us. It's every year I get visited by this person. And my brother said, well, look at it this way. Maybe it may be an angel or it may be like an actual person that's not from like here and now. And they're called um, um, Arcadians. And so they, they're like angel people. And what they do is that if there's a rift in the time, they can visit. And so every day or every year on February 23rd, 2000, like whatever, it was 2009, from that day on, every day I saw that angel. And it was almost like, hey, you know what? It's not your time yet. It's not your time yet. It's not your time yet. So as we deal with our spirit guides, kind of like yours as a man, but you also have a female energy around you. Mine is a man. Mm-hmm.
No, no, just lose your man. Um, you go through a lot of emotions that you don't want to deal with throughout your days. So you have to um, learn how to breathe through everything. You have anxiety, but you used to have depression. But you try to like pass by through it and just like do whatever you can to not face your fears or your emotions. You're a very loving and honest spirit. Very playful. And one thing that I've noticed is you're very stubborn too. And you're set in your ways. And so you're moving forward in life. And you gotta be the, the person that you want to be just by being vocal. Oh yeah, you are. It's all right here. It, it, you're stubborn towards the fact that you you want to open your third eye, but you're like, nah, I'm good. Yeah. And you also, did you grow up in the church? Yeah. That's why. Um, you know, I grew up in the church. Um, Baptist preachers.
home or a school and going in the right direction with your choices that you should focus on where you want to go and what you want to do. Because what I do is I focus on other people's third eyes, and that's how I. Because I can also see I am on him, and so he's very close to that. So like I don't, I don't like going because he's like, what are you, 17 still or 18? 18. He's just turned 18, so he's still on that cusp of transitioning because it's his part one. So I don't deal with anybody younger than like a certain age, but I'm starting to. Oh. Yeah, like um, my youngest person is like nine, not I teach. But it's a lot because I have to deal with God at the same time. The first card I pulled, what I pulled, I pulled the Ten of Pentacles. And I ended up pulling the Four and the Five of Pentacles, which is a shaman. So the Ten of Pentacles is the Minotaur. Oh, um, but um, it's you. <laughs> I don't know how to interpret it exactly. Which one, the Ten of Pentacles? Yeah. 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 really hard to do. You got this. Yeah, they're, they're in the do you want to read me? Would you feel comfortable with that one? Almost perfect. Okay. Well, no, it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's what you feel comfortable with. This is what we're going to learn off of. Okay. But what I'm going to she, she, she don't want kids and I don't have time right now so she cannot have kids because I need, I need to clear my schedule. <laughs> oh, she'll love the child. It's just out. I don't want to Yeah. 
So your lover, you got to start with a friendship and work your way into the relationship. Because if not, then it's not going to work out. It's going to be more, more 